on the road again. This track. Well, this is like my first attempt at episode 5. And we are going to make it to the town in this episode. We we're going to make it to that town, that town that is actually somewhat decent, the town where I should be able to buy new weapons. There's also new daggers, get my alley, a new staff maybe. Who knows, maybe I can buy a new spells, that would be nice. I get myself new skills, cause my two s- cause my- uh, my scarlet kisses just basically slightly increased attack speed. Nah. Scarlet kisses versus light attack. Oh, I see. My regular attack only does like six. Five or six. Was the Scarlet Kisses will just go on. Yeah! I actually thought it didn't have an end, so I just kept on going. But it's about 20. As opposed to the, like, 6. So there is actually a reason to use it, it's just basically it lasts longer. But at the cost of stamina, so trade off really. There may be materials here. Perhaps Probably still a good idea to use it in uh, melee. Are you all right, Master? Yeah, my weapons look even more rusted with that fire effect on them. And I don't have any flasks of oil to even to like make this oil arrows. I wonder if I can use my uh, bow to create a, dist a distraction point. sound. Because like, you can throw a rock or a the skull to make a distraction, so... Sure is this? No, I thought there was like a bag with like loot in it. And it's going to be a thing that's like, oh, ambush! But no, no ambush. Okay, run! Wow! That was random, I suppose. That was completely unexpected. That was not what I had thought was going to happen. Not a thing that I expected to be a thing that happened. I should actually count the Scarlet Kiss count. So I don't actually have to stand in there, I just have to be able to run in when it finishes. Yeah, just standing in the healing area and really getting hit is a bad idea because it lowers your maximum hit I Hmm. Oh, I shall take some more berries. Alright, wait, hold on. You don't need that many auras. We actually killed the guy? Neat. So yeah, about like 20, I think. It uses up almost half the stamina bar to do a combo of about 20. Oh well. You can then just do it right immediately afterwards. Shopping. Oh. 
Oh right, it must take time, so hitting a moving target is actually difficult. We have triumph. Little, just the little we things get put in. I guess outside of combat they can just cast the thing, but inside of combat it actually takes time because, you know, if you're outside of combat, you have the time to wait. Perhaps there's left we might Why is that red? Ali, are you red? I, I really don't know. Well, I tried it. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to save and continue right here. So now I shouldn't have to actually deal with them anymore. And if you find a weird editing issue, that that would be because I kind of failed it at a future point and had to restart from here. Now, inside the well, I couldn't save. But out here, I can. That's interesting, I can somewhat combine my Scarlet Kisses with my regular combo to just like switch back and forth between the two and not actually end the combo. Eighteen? Come on, little puppy. Yeah, just uh, switching back and forth from the uh, bow to the daggers so quickly like this actually does come in handy because, like, they start getting just a little bit too far away and then. Boop. So if you're running up to them, hit them with your bow, actually reach them, and then just switch right back. Yes, the capital is a good city. Big city. Ooh, sour. So it's already bad. Oh, it's already bad food. Alright, so somewhere around there should be the apple tree, right? Oh, right, happy. Lots of pelts, um, although I should be able to make one thing out of them. If I can find the other thing that goes with them. Apple tree. A waterfall. Mind the depth of the water arisen. Huh. No apples in the tree that time. Where is the waterfall, anyway? Oh gosh. Gosh, this would be terrifying. In reality, this? Because it's a slope that leads into, like, off of a cliff. Just terrifying. Right, so this is where the apples are in the tree. And this is where a bunch of wolves are as well. So I'll fight the wolves, defeat the wolves. Level up. Uh, yeah, level up, then collect the apples once all the wolves are gone. And then save. Yeah, should be a good plan, really. Um, since you actually find. Ooh, boasted apples. I am not entirely sure if I've ever had a roasted apple. That wolf is not dead. But it was rather damaged. So that wolf is going to be coming back for us soon. Just, a wolf just ran right off of it. No, they hold the advantage. They hold the advantage? No, I think that we do. We are doing well against them. 
We are winning. It'd be really nice if it was a bit easier to actually see the uh, enemies that we're fighting. Oh, look, there's one, and it's gone. There it is, and it's gone. It's down there. It ran away. And it kind of just ran away, so... I don't know. I'm not even fighting the things. I'm trying to hunt for apples. If it comes into my face and I can actually see it, then yeah, sure, I'll fight it. But otherwise, I really can't. Yeah, because that's only 200. Okay, and now I'll save again. Um, right here, we can't actually see it. It's a little bit further away. We are going to make it to that town, and I'm going to have a whole uh, between episodes thing. After this episode, I'm going to go into that town and just buy stuff and shop. And then afterwards, I'll show you the things I get. Because I think that works out very well. Just shop for stuff between episodes, and then just show off what I get. So you don't get all bored by me uh, price matching, price comparison. And... To be fair, I do think that I could... Actually... Wait, can I actually pull it? I don't know, it's really small. I might have... Yeah, I actually hit one of those birds. So... Be careful, they say, and then they all hang out way closer to the edge than I am. Don't worry. Please don't I'm overdo here. it. A giant master. Ready. Woman? Yeah, it's a uh, giant. It's indeed. I'm not hurting the thing. I can't actually hurt the thing, that's... Oh, no. Oh, right, a chest. <coughs> we must keep it a, a foreign knife. So if I throw it off, will it die? Yes. There are more birds, by the way. Oh, look, this one. Alright, so... I got something. What like this? Um, interesting that they could work together. I got a knife, though. So a foreign land. Great material of rarity favored by soldiers. So combine with sour sprig of beast, I suppose. To make oils, basically using up the knife to make the here a bit of oil. Find that with sour to make the oil. Find this with nothing. Cape flower. I tried to make something unknown, so I just wanted to make as many different unknown things as possible. Uh, bad oil. Down to cover a fair bit of stamina, but I don't need that, so. A flask of oil could be created. If I had a flask or if I had a pine branch, I could make something. Well, well, well. Oh! Okay. 
The lay of the land defies conventional travel. Let us climb and move as we must. Oh, let's go. Hopefully everyone yeah, everyone made the jump this time. That is good. Huh, this is actually a good strategy, considering the fact that I kind of lured the Cyclops over there. Okay, now it's coming for us. Yeah, I lured it over there, and now we can just walk over here safely. Or we can fight it. Yet yeah, now I can actually hurt it. It's not an ambush. It knew that we were there, and we knew that it was there. So what I'm trying to do here is not actually climb it. I'm not... Not actually good enough spot to be able to really uh, do more damage by climbing it. I can do more damage by doing this. And then when it comes close, I just run away and fire. Yeah, we're doing damage at a decent clip to it. We're doing damage to it at a decent clip. There we go. And yeah, just continuously do this and attack it. Lower its health. We've got about a quarter of its first health bar. Ooh, just attack. Oh, I think it's like feeding me something. Maybe. Yeah, I don't have a sleep spell. See, like, but if you just climb up the thing, then go onto the face and attack the face, that serves you very well. Boo! 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 So, one-sixth of its total health, and I've lost zero health. As long as my stamina doesn't go down to zero, I am still good. Yeah, that's a problem. If it grabs you, it's very, very bad. However, you can climb onto the back of it, and if you can stay on, you should be able to still damage it, right? I'm not entirely sure if I am actually damaging it, but I think that I am. So I just stay calm. Because yeah, he can't grab me from here. If I go onto its head, it can grab me. If I stay back there, it can't actually grab me, but it, but it can fall off. If I run out of stamina, I'm on hunt power. Apparently, if you run out, you have to reach back to a half before you can do anything. Now, I don't know about how much damage it does when it does that. Well, uh, run through sweeping thing. I really don't want to find out first hand. Yeah, almost one health bar down and I've still lost zero health. I'm still doing very well, all things considered. Well, all things considered, yeah, I'm damaging it and not losing health. 
That's fairly obvious in the whole, uh, I'm doing well aspect. So. Instant! I instantly die. Okay, so this should start me. Not at the very beginning. Okay, so go get new weapons, get new armor, then deal with the Cyclops. Okay, so I saved up here, now I'm up here. There's a land rife with spots where useful materials may hide. The, all the wolves should be dealt with, and now I can... Hold on. Hold on, I should go up there instead. Considering that I can't actually use that, uh, if I could swim, then I could swim through the water to get through. I have to use that bridge to cross. And this is me from a bit in the future, because the recording kind of stopped working, and so I just reset the, the checkpoint. Answer. That bridge, however, you can see a gate there, and there's another one on this side that you can't see so well. It, yeah, I can't actually uh, use it. The gates in the way they are are blocking access. Maybe if I beat a quest, they'll open, or I have to sneak my way around. So it's either I can't get to the capital city, yes, that is what that is, according to the guard, so either I can't get to the capital city yet, or I have to go through some other route to get there. So. I just need to cross that gap, then I should be able to make it. But how should I cross that gap? Are you alright, Master? Yeah, I just ran out of stamina, okay? Johanna? The sea is closer than I'd imagined. Yeah, well, look, I'm gonna get rid of you soon enough as well. And anyway, yeah, can't get through there. Follow this road north and we'll hit Grand Soren. Grand Soren, that sounds like a nice place. Unfortunately, isn't that when I'm trying to go? Yeah. Yeah, so I'm trying to go, so I just I want to get to there to get that. So if I can cross this gap, then I can potentially walk all the way up to here, and that's apparently the capital. So I'll just go and do this, get this on the map. Begging your pardon, sir, but I cannot permit... Him. More monsters spill through the pass by the day. It's all that damnable drag. You should know I cannot allow passage, save with dire cause. <laughs> I need new weapons to you defeat those monsters. Yeah, it's this guy that I had talked this to. Him. Yeah, to... But uh, Apologies, yeah. sir, you can You ask me the enlistment cause, but Core is desperate for swords, see? But the townsfolk flee whenever their drums ring out. Nowhere to run now, the road's closed though, is there? You ask me, the enlistment core is desperate for... Okay, yeah, so... I don't know if I need... Oh, Rift! Yes, I only just noticed that. So if I could get through this fence... Like, jumping right around it is might be possible, might not be, or maybe putting something in front of it so I could potentially try jumping up Bits of wood don't really help them too much. I should be able to just squeak right through here. I should be able to. But it won't let me. So yeah, should be able to. And then I have to do the same thing on the other side. Or, if I get up to there, I can jump down, is my thought. And yeah, you said that last time, too. Little bunny, little bunny. Well, I'm not playing Fable 2, so I'm not going to kill you for the achievement. And a raw. Goblins. Ah, so now there are just a few goblins to deal with, but yes. You missed us very, very little, actually. I'm just going to save right here because I can't I'm in combat. Okay.
Like, you can make a few steps, and then, okay. If I could, then do it, but no. Yeah, only one of you actually needs to be working on the uh, healing circle at a time. No, I'll take on the three of them with my weakened, my incredibly dull daggers. Wasn't there an item here? So, right here. Hello? If I could... Thank you. I guess he was covered in oil or something? Oh, no, he just happens to catch on fire. He's going at me. And he levels up again. Oh, come on! 561! 561. I'm still a ways away from leveling it myself, but I am level 7 now. Iron Blade of Peace. I like to get even a slightly better set of daggers. Like, even if they're just a little bit better, that would be nice, right? For a knife. Oh, weapons and armor, iron gold material, combine with kindling. Don't know what this makes, hopefully. Oh, now I have a pickaxe. What? Yeah, this can be used with a hunk of ore to make something. A skeleton key? That could actually be useful. Operates a device uh, that can unlock any cell door, including those in the dungeons beneath Grand Soren. Grand Soren, isn't that the capital? Yeah. So. I'm trying to find the pickaxe, and I. So, yeah. Mine ore from select locations. Nothing special to note, but you can mine ore from certain areas with it. Which is why I'm right, I guess. Um, I'd have rather have had a weapon. I'm sure there are many others who don't like a fire either. Whoa! Whoa! That was neat. Yeah, when we all work together as a team, we can kill these little goblins at least. But can't exactly get much uh, that's very much bigger than a goblin. So we have. Okay, so gotta get up to one of these here upper paths in order to, to carry on on the track. Like, I don't know where it is I'm supposed to actually be going, so I want to get to Grand Seren, but I don't think that that is where the journey is taking me. I fear I'm going towards the Cyclops. Okay, so this just leads straight to this here road. So at least now I'm in a specific area. I can't go to Grand Seren. Unless I get some sort of okay. Quite the grand structure. A way castle, perhaps. Don't think that I can use my skeleton key on that. That'd be interesting though, it's like make a skeleton key to get through. Yeah, use the rare drop of shackles. With some metal ore. What is that? What the heck is that? Is that a... It looks like it's moving. I 
Looks like it's moving, so it can't just be a plant, right? So I've got to get up there to do it. But how do I get up there in the first place? Okay, check the map, because the map should actually tell me how to do this, and... No, that's not a place I can actually get to, so I have to... Figure out how to get through here to get to that. What if I go this way? Might be something in that direction, so if I go... Okay, didn't lose any health from that. Yeah, it looks like that isn't a thing that I can actually get onto, so that plan of mine won't really work. But, I might be able... Come on. I might be able to get up through here. And so if I can get up through here... It could work. So I guess I'm not going to make it to Grand Sun by the end of this episode. This is formidable. Nothing up there to spend all that time with, and so drops. All right, so yeah, we can just get across through here. Depends on if you'd be willing to actually get a little bit wet. And apparently, getting wet is like a really bad condition. Actually, I should be able to see conditions in here. Greater damage from ice and thunder. Oh well, more likely to be frozen solid or thunder shock. Oh well. Lit lantern or torch will be extinguished, but then you can just Why relight. Best choose our path carefully. So yeah, becoming drenched will unlight your lantern or torch, which is to find out where this path leads. Which makes sense in theory. However, like, if the body gets wet and you manage to hold the uh, lantern hey, or the you torch above. You hold the lantern or torch away from it, then you get wet, but that shouldn't. So it's not 100% accurate, but it is approximately accurate. It's an easier way to get it done. The of the faith gave the water god's altar its name not long ago. I like how you can just kill bats for experience. So nice. The items have weight, and if you carry too much, they can go like slow or something. Did I just take 60 damage from a bat? Ow! going. I guess I just gotta get through here. If I get all the way through here, will I be able to get to Grand Saran? I want to stop at a, just the right spot. Oh, snap. I'm dead. I guess I'll stop here then. And I'll continue going the next episode with going back in there. <sighs> I hope I do get it. I hope I do get to Grand Saran eventually, because I need new weapons, as you can tell. And armor. And talent. <laughs>